I started making games by learning Unity three years ago. Yes, it was hard, but was it worth it? Hello everyone. I am Joseph. I was a 16 years old with no coding knowledge when I decided to learn how to make a game. So what happened that I started to making games? Now let's come to the beginning of the story. I love playing games in my daily life. About 3 years ago I thought making games could be just as fun as playing. At that time I was also interested in software and I was learning Python. Coding sounded very cool to me but what I really wanted was to make my own games. Then I drew a roadmap for myself to make my own games. I have been developing games for about 3 years. I experienced a lot during this process. In this video I will also have suggestions for beginners. In 2020, I was playing games such as Fall Guys, Stickman Fight, Among Us, Overcooked a lot. And all of these games were made with a game engine called Unity. After doing some research on Unity, I realized that it is a very suitable game engine for beginners. Unity was a suitable game engine for me. With Unity, I would be able to make the games I dreamed of. I researched to how to learn Unity. Then I set to work to find out. When I first started developing games, my goal was to make a 3D platform game. I especially like pixel art games. I want the YouTube for this. The first video I watched for making games was that of Brekis, who has unfortunately stopped producing content now. <laughs> Later I came across videos of content producers such as Danny and Blackthorn Pro, so I realized how fun game development is. At that time I started to learn how to make games by making many 2D games. Actually I was mostly just copying the codes. I learned a lot in this process. There is no limit to what you can do in Unity, so it is important to learn different things with tutorial videos, especially in the first one year. This is exactly how I did it. I was opening a video next to me and I was making a game with Unity by watching the video. The best way to learn something is it to do it. I learned a lot by doing game projects in different styles. I saw how to make a stickman game from Danny for a while and I tried to learn unidirectal mechanics in case. I could do it too. I had a hard time at that time but thanks to that game I learned a lot of new things in Unity. Since I did not publish these games on any platform I made a lot of copy games to learn new things. As long as it is not for any income purpose. I can recommend you to do this. Game development is a long process and you need to constantly push yourself to a different level. Making games gives you freedom. After all, you are the creator. You make the rules in the world you create. And I really like this freedom thing. After spending my first one year like this, I wanted to start developing mobile games. I have developed many mobile games. I made and published a runner game called Fly Away. Then I made a simple puzzle game called Feel It. Although the game looked simple, but it was very complicated to write the code. I like that people download and comment on my games on mobile, so I became even more interested in mobile games. At the same time, I had made a mobile application before, and this application also reached 400 100,000 downloads. I discovered the hyper casual style while researching mobile game ideas. People often underestimate this industry because it is mostly based on advertising. But I enjoyed constantly developing new ideas and game find them. The trends that affect the success of your game are constantly changing. It's a very dynamic industry. If you work in the hyper casual industry, you must constantly think of new ideas and develop them. And I can say that if you want to learn how to make games in a short time, this industry is for you. You don't necessarily have to sell your games to companies. You learn different mechanics with a different idea all the time. In this way, you can improve yourself. For example, while I was learning shader events in my first hyper casual game, I learned bomb mechanics with Unity in my last game. By the way, if you want to play and review my mobile games, you can find my Google Play Store and Apple App Store links below. I have briefly told you what I have done so far. I am thinking of making a 3D computer game in the coming months. If things go well, I want to release it on Steam and other consoles. I am also waiting for your suggestions about the game projects. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel and like the video. At the same time, do not forget to write your opinion about my video as a comment. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next videos.